all right so a very quick video i thought i should do it just kind of a freestyle one so this is a led array um this is mostly for video lighting and stuff like that this is one of the really cheaply bought ones um and as you can see there is absolutely no um current limiting resistors on here uh they're just all of the leds are in parallel uh, straight up uh, there's no no leds are in series um and uh, yeah so that's kind of sketchy uh, so i just wanted to show you what happens um uh, this is the kind of the the back side of it so it just has a barrel jack connector input a battery case um if you want to power it on battery and a switch uh, again no led uh, no current limiting resistors whatsoever now in case you didn't know leds don't really draw uh, current on their own sort of uh, they just consume whatever is available and they burn out uh, which is really bad uh, considering um, that i have a power supply that gives like 15 watts so it's 5 uh, volts at um, 3 amps and again I had another power supply that is 4 amps and let me show you what really happens uh, I'll turn off the light here for a second so as soon as I power it on it takes a few seconds and it turns on I don't know if you can hear the call one but it's really bad and here you can see that it's consuming way more than 3.1 amps now i'm going to shut it off because the coil wind gets crazy uh, and i think i might blow up the uh, voltage level shift converter so this is a smps style power supply i have 12 volts coming in here and i can smell some burning but uh, and then this is a 3 amp or uh, 5 volt converter so switch mode simple very simple switch mode power supply i have a much more complex one uh, which I've kept inside. It's a 4 amp one, but again, uh, if I run the 4 amp one, I'll get 4.5 amps here, like I was getting to 3 amps plus. So it's really running this uh, on the edge, like it's straight up short. And what ends up happening is, uh, in a second, you might be able to see when I turn this on, LEDs start to flicker, and there are some LEDs that are flickering. You can see a few of them down there. Uh, and they are basically just dying and if I take a, like a thermal like IR meter or something it's it starts to get really hot to the point that it's, it easily reaches 40 degrees um, right now it's showing 37 but I turn it on for a few minutes uh, it starts climbing up very rapidly and uh, yeah so the LEDs would like just start to burn out for no reason they aren't providing that much light and this will damage the power supply as well because it's running at maximum capacity all the time without any sort of cooling um, and it's not really supposed to run at maximum capacity um, this is typically just dead short for these uh, power supplies and you can see here the coil wine is annoying so yeah, uh, very. I was I was thinking of using it, but until or unless I do really something about it, it's going to die uh, if I use it continuously. Um, and I'm not sure how many LEDs are affected. Uh, only a few blink, but others might have a very short life span. So I don't think there's much use to it. To uh, kind of you know, the only thing I can do is just kind of throw it away. Or you can have like current limiting uh, circuit attached to it, but then you're better off with something else. Alright, I thought this would be interesting, a very short video to show you guys why uh, current limiting race is important if you are running LEDs.